So the battle's won, and I even got the chance to go out and feed the dogs. So everything is amazing and fantastic. Without candles or magic to guide them home, the monsters use crystals to navigate. And it gets darker now that I've mentioned that. So I'm taking a beating. Like, a lot. Um... Let's see, there's a, another lantern here. And I've moved on. I have a really bad feeling about this. Uh... To eat astronaut food. You eat the astronaut food, your HP was maxed out. Behind you. Whoopsies. Seven. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore Dreamer. Okay, take a step back. Flashback to episode two. Uh, okay, so what we learned thus far, the king, dreamer, fluffykins, or whatever, wh all these different names, he's supposed to be really pacifist. He's supposed to be kind, gentle, loving. Papyrus even believed that if we asked nicely, he'd let us go. But... Toriel, when we left, the ruins told us that Asgore would kill us, right? There's something not making sense here. Other people are giving different accounts to this person. Some people say he's kind and a bit on the, you know, terrible naming side. That he's, you know, fluffy and adorable. While Toriel believes that he'll be the death of us if we let him get close. We'll become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. He will finally take the surface back from humanity and give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body. Undyne, I hope you fight! Wow, I almost went battle mode. Yo! You did it! Undyne is right in front of you. You've got the front row seats for her fight. Wait. Who's she fighting? H hey! You aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? Uh, um... You aren't gonna tell my parents about this, aren't you? Uh, and we get a path up here now. You hear a passing conversation. Hmm. If I say my wish, you promise you won't laugh at me? Of course I won't laugh. Someday, I'd like to climb this mountain we're all buried under. Standing under the sky, looking at the world all around. That's my wish. You hear laughter. Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it. Sorry, it's just funny. <laughs> That's my wish, too. Aw. However, there is a prophecy. The angel, the one who's seen the surface. They will return, and the underground will go empty.
so I guess it's prophesizing that one way or another this will end that presumably us will go and either we will kill all monsters or we'll rescue them from this prison also this this right here is obviously different than the rest why is this different I don't know yo Yo, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. Man, I've never had to ask anyone this before. Um, yo, you're human, right? <laughs> Man, I knew it. Well, I know it now, I mean. Undyne told me, uh, stay away from that human. So, like, um, I guess that makes us enemies or something? But I kind of stink at that. <laughs> yo, say something mean so I can hate you. Please? I can't. Yo, what? So I have to do it? Here goes nothing. Yo, I I hate your guts. Man, I, I'm such a turd. I'm, I'm gonna go home now. Uh, not again. Yo, wait, help! I tripped! Oh god, not now. Not now, Undyne. Y yo, dude. If if you, you want to hurt my friend, you're going to have to get through me first. She's gone. Yo, you really saved my skin. Guess being enemies is just a nice thought. <laughs> we'll just have to be friends instead. Man, I should really go home. I bet my parents are worried sick about me. Later, dude. Alright, sorry about that. There's that weird divot here as well. Maybe it's wherever the uh, posts are that hold up the bridges. Oh, hi, Undyne. Seven. Seven human souls and King Asgore will become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. Understand? Through your... S through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. No. You know what? Screw it! Why should I tell you that story when you're about to die? Nah! You. You're standing in the way of everyone's hopes and dreams. Alfie's history books made me think humans were cool. <laughs> With their giant robots and flowery swordsmen. But you? <laughs> You're just a coward. Hiding behind that kid so you can run away from me again? And let's not forget your wimpy good two, sh good two shoes stick. Oh, I'm making such a difference by hugging random strangers. You know what would be more valuable to everyone? If you were dead! That's right, human. Your continued existence is a crime. Your life is all that stands between us and our freedom. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts pounding together. Everyone has been waiting their whole lives for this moment, but we're not nervous at all. When we're, everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose. Now, human, let's end this right here, right now. I'll show you how determined monsters can be. Step forward when you're ready. <laughs> The wind is howling, you're filled... Bleh, I messed up right at that point. The wind is howling, you're filled with determination. Alright. As we face here, Undyne, we're coming for you now. That's it, then. 
No more running away. Here I come! On guard. Undyne attacks and we have a green heart. Much like Papyrus, she has the ability to affect our heart. And oh, she's quite cool. I'm going to challenge. No, I'm going to plead. I'm going to check. I don't know what I'll do. I'll plead with her. You told Undyne you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. As long as you're green, you can't escape. Unless you learn to face danger head on, you won't last a second against me. Undyne's suplex is a huge boulder just because she can. Fine. Then I'll challenge you. You'll tell under and her attacks are too easy. The bullets get faster. Not bad, then how about this? I understand. Undyne draws her finger across her neck. That's nothing. For years, we've dreamed of a happy ending. It smells like sushi. You tell Undyne her attacks are way too easy. And now, sunlight is just within our reach. Undyne flashes a menacing smile. You tell Undyne her attacks are too easy. The bullets get faster. I won't let you snatch it away from us. What the? It smells like sushi. Come on. Ah, enough warming up. Oh! Guess what? Like you said, I can't escape while you're while I'm green. But now I can. You won't get away from me this time. Undyne attacks. Honestly, I'm doing you a favor. Are you? I refuse to fight you. No human has ever made it past Asgore. Okay, that's a dirty trick. Undyne draws her finger across her neck. Killing you now is an act of mercy. So stop being so damn resilient! Sorry, Undyne, but you just made a huge mistake. Undyne points heroically towards the sky as I flee. You've escaped from me from the last time. Guess what? Once again, I refuse to fight you. Alphys told me humans were determined. Ah, gotcha. Undyne's suplex is a huge boulder just because she can. I see now that we, what she meant by that. So Alphys is a woman. Nope. Flips her spear impatiently. But I'm determined too. Thinks of her friends and pounds the ground with her fists. Determined to end this right now. Dirty tricks like that are really annoying. Right now! Undyne Yes. Right. Now! Then let's use the monster candy. Very unlicorice like you covered 10 HP. Nah, die already, you little brat! This is confusing! I don't know what's going on! 
And guess what? You made a mistake. Hey, what's up? I was just thinking, you, me, and Undyne should all hang out sometime. I think you'd make great pals. Let's see me let's meet up at our house later. Click. Stop running away. I refuse. I'm not fighting you. No, come on. Sans, what are you doing with your life? That armor... Armor is so hot. But I can't give up. You're, you're a freaky fish, girl. It's a water cooler. Take a cup of water? Sure. You take a cup of water. Give Undyne the water? Yeah. I'm just pouring it on the side of your face, not even in your mouth. Um, well, Sans, you literally just was, were, hmm, I'm annoyed. Every time I want to talk to Sans, he just, uh, what the, what? Uh, okay, 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 okay. I was thirsty, so I came over from Waterfall to get a drink. Okay, 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 are you just carrying that around to look sophisticated? Because it's not working. The cup of water returned to the water cooler. The cup of water, the water evaporated from the heat. The cup evaporated too. <laughs> what? All right, seeing such a war strange level uh, seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this, you're filled with determination. Alright. Uh. Hmm. Sorry. Undyne, like, told us there was, like, a human in the area. So, like, us royal guards are blocking off the elevators for now. Yeah. Even if the elevators aren't working anyway, we'll do our best, Miss Undyne. What? 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 Like, no way you're getting by us. But between you and me, I think you could go through that creepy lab over there. Between you, me, and my bro here, I mean. I tell him all my secrets. Good for you. Oh. tra -la -la, I am the Riverman. Or am I the River Woman? It doesn't really matter. I love to ride in my boat. Would you care to join me? Ride in the boat? Assuming this doesn't put me back too far, sure. Where will we go? Let's go to Snowden, then we're off. Let's hope it doesn't leave us there, though. Ah. Uh, aren't you like the Reaper bringing us across the river Styx? Come again sometime, tra -la -la. Why does that sound familiar? Let's continue to play monsters and humans. He liked to wander. You must be young. Can we please play something else? Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, who are you? Yeah, yeah, anything different? Okay, well, you're lame. So we're just here in Snowden now, I guess, just checking out what's different. Maybe I'll try frowning for once. No, I just can't do it. Wait, I've got a joke. Knock, knock. Uh, that's all I've thought of. You failed a knock, knock joke. Good job. What if I ran for mayor? I don't think I would do a good job, and I hate responsibility. But I love politics, so I might just be a perfect match. You're not wrong. You're not. So let's check out our friends at Grillby's. Come on, everybody! La la, let's party! Anyone? 
To a human, monster food would be very interesting. As soon as you eat it, it converts perfectly into energy. That makes me wonder, how do humans do it? Eat during battle? What? How? I'm, I'm guessing the reason we we're able to do it so easily is because we're eating monster food? What will happen to Grillbees if everyone moves in? We're gonna have to have chairs to the ceiling. That? Oh. Ellipses, ellipses. Grillbees said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. I wasn't looking at Grillbees, but okay. Grillbees. Eh, uh, I wish I had something else to do. Did I catch anyone yet? I can't bear to look. It's a play, it's playing poker against itself and it appears to be losing, just like before. Derpy face, just like before. He may not look like it, but this big guy writes the most eloquent letters. Here, take a look. It's just the word bark, but in flowery cursive. Oh. She hasn't been responding to her letters. Maybe it's because we let Doggo write them all? We're considering paying a visit to the doctor. No, not the vet. Well, maybe she's a little like a vet. Alright, and we move on. It's a carefully decorated tree. Some of the presents are addressed from Santa to various locals. Hmm? Adjusting the presents is my responsibility. Nah, to be honest, I just keep looking to see if I've gotten one. Huh? Yes, I'm waking I'm taking the bunny for a walk. It's just a very slow one. Huh? Yes, I'm okay. That lady over there has been going for a walk for a while now, but she hasn't moved an inch from where she's standing. Well, I haven't either, but I don't want her to notice me over here. Yeah, she's kind of an odd one, isn't she? Let's stop by the shop to see if anything's different here. Um... Okay, I guess nothing new. Welcome to Snowden Town. I actually want to check something out to the east over here. West over here, I meant. Not east. So I'll be right back. Wait. What? We all live in the woods, so no one can tell us what to do. But now everyone ignores us. I don't want freedom if it means no one's going to pay attention to me. Woof. It must be bigger on the inside. Mew, mew, mew. Sorry, TARDIS music just popped in my head. This is the first place I met you as well. I've heard there's a local tradition based off my own suffering. Whoopsies. Yeah, that's not exactly a great thing to hear. Is there anything different with this? It's a door. It's a door with that symbol, the monsters. Symbol of the monster kingdom. But the only time we've seen that door is on the ruins in Ontoriel. And of course the door back there, but I'm sure we'll see it more inside of the capital. But I don't know, it's odd. Or papyrus in sense. Oh, another ice cap. Everyone's wearing hats. Should I branch into a different item? Ice jorts? Doesn't have the same ring to it. And I have ice socks and sandals. Ice. Okay. Yeah, uh, a good friend of mine will love that kind of thing. And they know who they are. And I've already linked this to them. But screw them. That, pri that dog from earlier? It's at Grillby's, I think. After work, all the dogs go there to play cards together, but that dog doesn't really know how to express itself, so it ends up playing alone, instead of introducing itself to the others. Seems like the base of a snow dog. On the floor inside is a box of Palmer raisins. Ah. There's a camera behind the sentry station, sure enough. Knowing that the dog will never give up trying to make the... Yeah, I... Mm, I won't save here. I was hoping it would say something different. Oh, the machine's gone and the floor is not as it was. 
Oh, it's you. Heh, <laughs> us teens live self-sufficiently off the fat of the land. Oh, and the lunchboxes my parents bring us every day. There's a switch on the trunk of this tree. Press it. What does that do? Besides Snowy, we have to share ours with him. Oh, Snowy's... I guess his parents don't pack him lunch for some reason? I don't know. I'm enjoying heading back and checking out what's different, though. Oh, well. Um, this any different? Nope, no different. There's a camera inside the tree, another ice cap. Hey, stop thinking about my hat. You aren't thinking about my hat? Can you please? Uh, ice caps are kind of vain, aren't they? The switch is stuck now. Okay. Well, I guess while that switch is stuck, we're gonna keep heading west. It's a plate of frozen spaghetti. It's so cold, stuck to the table. It's an unplugged microwave. A note from Papyrus. That was fun. The Monster Kids word search. That went up a few days ago. That was fun as well. Ah, wow, whoa, it's a hole. There's a camera hidden inside. Did I really check everything? Oh, another teen comedian. Gek, ha, ha, ha. Us teens rules these woods with a smaller than adult fist. Alright, that's how you want to say it. His. Hers. Smell danger rating. Yes, I know all that. And I get the pun about it being because dogs are colorblind. I'm stupid. Everyone should know this. So, I guess I'll just keep moving on. Checking everything as I go. Oh well. How am I doing? By I, I mean the piece of me I gave to you. Do I still have that on me? I do. Snowman piece heals 45 HP. Please take this to the ends of the earth. So I... Probably if I bring it to the end of the game, something will happen. Someone's been smoking dog treats. This note is written very oddly, as if the paper was moving while it was written. It says, out to lunch. Oh... Because he can't see the paper unless it's moving. I get it. There's some narration on the card box. You observe the woke. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I read this already. Camera hidden behind there. Another teen comedian. I ran away from home. Why? Because my father was so cold to me. What? It's a joke. Laugh at it. You guys are a lot cooler than the last time I was here. Get it? Cooler? Because it's... Yeah. Um, Toriel, where are you? It's too cold to swim in the river, unless you have a waterproof sweater! What? I, what? The convenience of that lamp still fills with determination. Give me a second, I'm gonna check the door one last time. Alright, maybe there's something different in the library. Yes, we know the sign is misspelled. We have someone working on it. Yes, I illustrate all of the comics myself. Yes, I give everyone huge, beautiful eyes and giant muscles. <clears throat> there's a day I just don't want to work. It's called today. Oh. That look in your eye? You think Sudoku is just moderately challenging, don't you? I, I mean, Sudoku is pretty fun, actually. It can be pretty difficult. 
There's a day I just don't want. Okay, yep. Yeah. And. Yep, alright. Everything seems roughly the same. Minor differences, but roughly the same. So I've checked everything up until the next. Ah, well, I actually want to check one last thing. Before we leave and head back all the way up to where we were, and, you know, be all good and done, I want to head up to this cave, this cave system. I, I, I don't know. I, I feel like it's not really a system, because I'm not really going in there. I'm just heading to the entrance. I'm heading right in here. Well, I guess not the entrance. The second. We're going up until the sentry station. That's what I'm talking about. This is Nekofar repeats the last thing I heard over and over again. Let's hang out again sometime. Well, nothing new and our friend is not here. tra -la -la, care for a ride? Ride in the boat? Yes, I will. And... Could go back to Waterfall. I don't have any use to it yet, though, so we'll go into Hotland. Then we're off. So... We got all the way through Waterfall during the last few episodes, during the session of recording at least. Tralala, -la, Temi Village, the room before the Darkening Lantern Room. Thanks for the tip, mysterious River Styx Crosser. Hmm, maybe if I stop by I can hear more hints. Come again sometime. Alright, guys. I'm filled with determination, or at least I would be if I could hit save. Next time on Let's Play Undertale, we'll be heading into the laboratory here. I need a bit of a break. I will be recording another day. I've just got everything I can think of out of the way before we go on to the next area, the Hotland. I'll see you guys next time.